When you have a long history of bad knees like me, jumping off a ledge with a 50 pound weight on your back is a surefire recipe for months of PT and crutches. But when you're wearing a military grade robotic knee brace, theoretically, you should be okay. <sighs> Moment of truth. I'm like very nervous. <laughs> I know. I'm Brent Rose, and I'm about to pay for my orthopedist's Hawaiian vacation. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, baby. Ah, uh, all day. Sweet. You're not going anywhere, Dr. Shapiro. Let's jump off a roof. So you've heard about augmented reality, right? Well, how about augmented mobility? Robotic exoskeletons have captivated us for years. They're major tropes in sci-fi movies like Aliens, Elysium, and Avatar. But in real life, engineers have been working on them since the early 1900s, generally with terrible, clunky results. Here we see the electrically powered machine built into the form of a human skeleton. While there have been some real breakthroughs in recent years, most of them are still bulky, prohibitively power-hungry, as well as expensive. That's why a San Francisco company called Rome Robotics caught my eye. Rome claims to have solved a lot of these problems, making a robotic knee brace that promises to double your strength and endurance and reduce experienced G-forces by half, all while doing it in a package that's lightweight, lasts up to eight hours, and is relatively affordable. If you think that sounds too good to be true, you're not alone. So today, we're gonna stress test the hell out of this thing. Oh yeah, how does that feel? Definitely feeling it though. And considering I just re-injured my knee, we're gonna be stress testing me too. Ooh, slipped, I'm fine. I'm Tim Swift. I'm the founder and CEO of Rome Robotics. So we have one line of product, which is a performance product, which is Forge. And that is really designed for military first responders. What are some of the specific applications that you've seen it use for first responders in military? Firefighters. Firefighters walk in with significant amounts of gear and it's unacceptable for them to find themselves impeded. If there's fires that aren't on ground floors or multi-story buildings, they're not taking elevators up to those needs. They're carrying their gear and typically backup gear. Some of our customers are sending an extra guy for the sole goal of carrying all the gear. Because they know by the time they make it to the 28th floor, that guy's smoked. His only job is to carry the gear and get out. We go out with maritime users in small boats, and these guys are taking you know, 50 mile an hour speeds over 10 foot sea states, and they're just getting beat by the G-forces. And we can put systems on users and we get a 50% reduction in G-forces immediately. No training involved. I'm excited to beat myself up in this thing. <laughs> it's great. What makes Rome's military leg brace unique is that it uses pneumatic actuators instead of heavy motors and servos. That means it's using compressed air to augment your knee movement, and in theory, give you up to two times your own strength. Specifically, this is designed for military members or first responders, so the size is probably pretty close to where you're at. Yeah, tech journalist, military first responder, it's, perfect, right? it's about the same. You have a brace on each leg, and then you have a power pack that powers both of them. So that comprises kind of the two main parts of the system. This contains the compressor, uh, some of the brains in that work in conjunction with the sensors on the units themselves, all controlled by the remote that's on your left shoulder. If you want to go ahead and press and hold, that'll turn it on. All right, moment of truth. Good morning. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's very springy. I couldn't help but notice that anytime I move, there's a bit of a noise coming out of it. What, what is that we're hearing? Yeah, so what you're hearing right now is the compressor itself charging up air to supply to each of the, debra the braces themselves. Part of what you're also hearing is when you move, uh, there's the filling portion for the actuator. That's and then trouble. as you come back up, you'll hear venting. So some of that is both the brace sound and the power pack sound something we're uh, working towards reducing. But that's what you're hearing and that's what some of the vibrations are that you're feeling. Okay, so we're gonna start with a control test and to do that we're gonna do some squatting, which I haven't done in like 20 years. Normally you wanna do this to failure. Failure for me, since I have a freshly tweaked knee, is gonna be any inkling of pain or just me passing out with a dumbbell on my head. All right, so this is 185. Let's see how this goes. How red is my face right now? Whoa! Yep, we'll call it good. Four is good. <sighs> now I've got the four, John. We're gonna turn it up to max support mode and see what we can do here. All right. It's okay to be scared. 
Here we go. Huh. Definitely feeling a lot more push on my backs and my thighs. I also don't feel like I'm about to have an embolism, so that's good. I can still have a conversation, so that's good too. Oh yeah, I am definitely feeling it though. Let's call that failure. Eight. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go pass out for a second here. It's fine, everything's fine. So the forge isn't built to assist with your running, but it is built in such a way that it shouldn't impede your running. So when it's powered off, it's not getting in my way, but it's not assisting either. It's not designed to assist, but let's see what happens. That's never gonna get old. <laughs> it's really huffing and puffing. Let's go up to six. All right, so I, I can feel there's some resistance. I can't tell if it's making it harder or easier. Again, I'm still feeling the weight. I'm feeling the pressure in the back of my thighs and around my ankles, but my knees feel totally fine right now. So that's good. It's not helping, but if I turn it off again, oh yeah, oh yeah, let's go without. Definitely better without. Yeah, so I tried at level one and at level three, it was definitely impeding a little bit. It's just kind of resisting against your knees in a way that doesn't help you. It took some of the impact off my knees, which was nice, but I was kind of having to fight against it. So if you gotta run with this thing, turn it off. This is the impact test, which I'm rather nervous about. We don't have a boat, but this is gonna simulate a sort of high seas situation and the impacts that would be taking on my legs. We're on the high box. This one's a little bit scary for me. Three, two, one. Feel it on my feet. Excuse me. Burrito. I actually wanna to try to do that one again with the Spider-Man landing. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. It's worth noting that while we're just testing the Forge today, which is designed for these types of high impacts, Rome has two other models, the Ascend and the Elevate. The Ascend is designed mostly for people with knee issues and it helps them with things like standing and sitting and going up and down stairs. The Elevate is made for skiers whose knees aren't what they used to be. I actually got to test it in Big Sky, Montana a couple winters ago, and it did in fact help me power through turns with less strain on my knees. Though the sounds of the air compressor in an otherwise tranquil place was pretty hard to ignore. So the Forge did pretty well in the lab in some controlled testing. So let's try a little less controlled testing. They told me specifically that it will not help me dunk a basketball. We're gonna prove them wrong. Perfect. All right, I'm all forged up now. Let's see if this uh, improves my vertical at all. Mmm, no. <laughs> Come on, baby. Ugh, I cannot fly. I was wrong to believe that I could fly, and I feel stupid now. Okay, fine, so it was not designed for dunking. Let's try a few things that it was designed for. So a more realistic scenario might be a firefighter having to carry a person out of harm's way, and that could be up many, many flights of stairs. So to simulate a dead body, we're gonna use our director, Morgan, here. Feeling dead body-ish? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, how does that feel? And uh, we're going up. Oh yeah. You can hear the pistons working, but I can still kind of carry on a normal conversation, which I was really, really not expecting. Hi, pup. That was actually pretty good. How you doing, dead body? This is my stop. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Ugh. Not exactly the stealthiest contraption, but if I have to make a hard landing, I am really loving it. And if I need to sneak around, just turn it off. And get real sneaky. All right, let's talk highs and lows. Highs, I was able to squat more than my body weight eight times. That is something I never would have been able to do under normal circumstances. Two, I was able to jump off a high platform with weight and land like freaking Spider-Man. I will do that all day long, because that was stupid fun. 
three, I've been on my feet all day long, carrying weight, going up and down things, carrying Morgan, and my legs feel good. My knees aren't really shot. I could still do stuff. And that's kind of a miracle in itself, especially considering I just tweaked my knee recently. Lowe's, when I didn't have the brace on, I tried to squat more than my body weight without warming up, and I thought I was gonna face plant and die. Bad call. Two, I may have sprained this finger jumping out of a tree and landing awkwardly, which was definitely my fault, but what can you do? And three, this brace did not let me yam it like a professional basketball player. Truly a tragedy. But that's actually something that it could be programmed to do in the future, which I think is really cool. The other thing I couldn't ignore about the Forge is the noise. Right now it sits at about 65 decibels, which is rather prominent indoors. <laughs> Definitely not ready for the public library. Once they sort that out though, it'll be interesting to see how widespread this type of tech becomes, not just from Rome, but from other innovators in the personal mobility space. With all that being said, we got one more test left to do. It is important to keep it contained around your thigh, but we're not looking to cut off circulation there to keep it. Nobody specific. can contain these thighs, but go on.